The investigation that we've labelled Operation Sanctuary has moved on um, over the last seven days and the total number of arrests that we're currently at is 30 and that's 28 men and, and two women. Um, that moved on from 27 that were arrested last week in the first phase uh, by a further three this week and that followed another allegation of rape um, in which uh, an adult female in her 20s felt confident and brave enough to come into the police station in the early hours of the morning um, earlier this week and make an allegation of rape which resulted in three further arrests. Um, what, what we're in a position to talk about now is the number of, of victims or potential victims stroke witnesses that are actually involved in this. That number has now moved to 80, um, so we have the names of 80 individuals, um, all female, um, some of whom are, are, are teenagers, uh, many of them are, are women. Um, but what is consistent in this investigation so far, what binds them all together is their vulnerability. Um, some of them are vulnerable by virtue of their age, um, but many of them are vulnerable by virtue of their susceptibility to grooming, um, their addiction to alcohol or their addiction to other substances and indeed the misuse of those. Um, these are women and girls who live in our communities, live in your community. Um, in many cases they may live next door to you. It may be it is the woman with an alcohol problem that you cross the street to avoid. It might be um, the, the, uh, an individual girl who goes to school with your son or your daughter um, who perhaps has been in care um, but not necessarily. Um, doesn't have to have been in care. This is not exclusively about children who have been in care. This extends right throughout that, um, those age ranges through and, and indeed encompassing adult women. Um, they are vulnerable. They are vulnerable because potentially of learning difficulties and what is commonplace is that they are being abused by single and indeed more than one uh, offender where they are taken, they are befriended and then taken to, to houses and properties um, throughout Newcastle but no, not just Newcastle, this is uh, rest have been made in Gateshead and South Tyneside and the potential is there for that to grow beyond those boundaries as well but what is common is that they are befriended and in many cases plied with alcohol and drugs and then abused behind closed doors, possibly in a party and what we're saying to the public is look if it looks wrong if it just doesn't feel right then you need to ring us better to get in touch and be sure than to leave it unreported